just feels so much better. Like weighted keys, such a must. I think you're freaky, freaky, and I like that. I wanna touch your body all night, yeah. Don't even get me started, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. As you know, I'm constructing another studio upstairs, the A Studio. It's on hold, ordered new fabric, the entire story is here on this channel. Today, more equipment for that new studio arrived. I got something that will actually replace the keyboard right here. As you know, I already made an entire video about this keyboard, which is quite successful. The special feature about this keyboard are the weighted keys, but also very, very old. And this keyboard right here is not even available anymore. So I thought it's time for an update here for the studio and also an update video for, in my opinion, the best MIDI keyboard on the market. And it's not even the best, I think it's also the best at the very best price, because this right here is very inexpensive if you consider what you get compared to every other brand that makes keyboards. The only downside of this old version, it's quite big and very, very, <laughs> very heavy it's extremely heavy yeah i mean it's possible but there is a reason for the weight these keys right here are weighted keys you push them and it feels almost like a real piano playing with this is like a hundred times more satisfying than any other midi keyboard i ever owned by the way if you're interested to get it and know everything about the price and your location i'll link it down below in the description and also stay tuned until the end because this keyboard right here will be a giveaway more than that later now let's actually get the the new version first impression it's a lot less heavy. Like this is manageable. That's a good weight. The keys, good quality, weighted. It just, that's good. I like that. I really like that. They also changed the color from that blue to black. It looks a lot more sleek and stylish. Let's fire it up. So it comes with the, the power brick. A positive surprise. There is like a, a pedal included didn't expect that some stuff probably no one reads and yeah i think we can just connect it via usb let me check that because there is no usb cable included so let's see usb the the b connection one that you know from printers it goes in display is on it has a display i mean I like that. You see the old version had um, a pitch and mod wheel and these buttons. The new version has no wheels. It got these sticks for X, Y, three. And the display. It's not touch. <laughs> strange how our brain already like expects touch everywhere but you got this encoder right here you can like scroll through programs presets and just click it it works as expected you plug it in it even bus powers so this isn't necessarily needed. The XY pads, I have to say, is like a matter of taste if you prefer them over a mod wheel or if you prefer a mod wheel. The, the feel of the keys is even better than the old one. There is more pressure, there is more feel in it, there is more resistance in it. It feels even more like a real piano. And it's not even comparable to anything else you know on the market that doesn't have weighted keys. It feels just like cheap plastic and it's not nice to play it. And here you get actually this function for a very affordable price, almost the same price and it's really quality. It's, it's like heavy, like this is a real keyboard. 88 keys full size you can of course also get the the shorter versions and i think there's even like a grand piano version where the keys are actually made out of real wood 
but that's a lot more expensive and probably only for people that want a 100% real piano feel. Let's check the back really quick. We got the on off power in MIDI ins and outs, the USB, and then four more connections for pedals because you can actually but that's then just for the real pros. You can split this up into multiple sections. So basically having two keyboards, you could play here, someone else over there. You could play two different instruments with two different hands. I can't do that kind of stuff. I'm not the best piano player, but um, if you can, you can set it up here with the display. I'm happy with it. It's, it's a nice addition, a nice upgrade to the old one. Looks better. The price is still the most convincing. Like this is by far the cheapest weighted keys keyboard on the market in full size. And I think it's the perfect master keyboard for a studio. So let me actually put it underneath the desk where it belongs. So now again, whenever I need it, I just push this back, got the keyboard right here. And I'm personally just using it to play stuff. I don't use any pads or faders. I used to have these kind of MIDI control keyboards for music production, but the faders and the pads are usually of such a bad quality that I prefer just having a keyboard that does this one job very well. And then for pads and other stuff, if I need it, get additional equipment. And I I think, as far as I know, like this keyboard is by Studio Logic. I think they own the Fatar. I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. That's the company that makes the weighted keys for all of the other companies. So they buy their stuff to build into their keyboards. And right here, you got one that they made themselves. That's why it's so inexpensive. An Italian company I'm happy to support, especially right now at the moment during these very weird times. So again, if you're interested, I'll link it down below. And the giveaway is that keyboard right there. We'll do a very special keyboard giveaway. I'm too lazy to put this into a box, go to the post office and send it somewhere. It's too expensive, it's too heavy. So whoever that lives out there and lives close by, the first person that shows up here at the studio that I don't know in person, like all of my friends are excluded, all of the people working here are excluded. It has to be someone that watched this video and just comes by and picks it up. It's yours. Whoever is first, take it with you. Let's see for how long this is actually going to stand there. I'll let you know when someone shows up and requests that huge heavy keyboard. Anyways, next up, of course, since I can work on the studio, music production. I even managed today to further build and plan the desk for the new studio. All of these racks will be placed here and then we got like four sections for 19 inch rack units. And I will build underneath again a compartment to place the keyboard in so I can slide it out. On top, just mouse, trackpad, and here all of the equipment. I also managed to further test the LED stripes and actually place them here in the new studio. As you know, the fabric needs to be replaced because it's damaged. This part right here already looks almost complete. That part over here is still a big mess. And yeah, one kind of LED will go underneath of these blocks, which looks really good. It just needs to be installed underneath so that you have the indirect light. And over here, I also tested another idea. Let me know how you like this. I put LEDs between these blocks and then you get that indirect light that shines through them. I think it looks really epic, like the sun behind it is like rising. Just not sure about the distance, if it should be less or more. And of course I have to acoustically measure it and ask my acoustic studio builders guys if that could cause any problems, but I don't think so. And now imagine this being between all of these blocks. I don't know, it has like a certain something to it depending on where you stand. It looks a little sci-fi. Also up there, you got the spill of the light, which I actually really like. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope to be able to continue at the very end of this week with the studio construction, of course, keeping you updated. 
or at the very beginning of next week. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think from now on, this should go fast because I got all of the material that I need. Mm -hmm.